Here we have a pH correction vessel. It basically adds hardness in the water to prevent corrosion. So if you find that you've got a fairly corrosive water, the common signs of that is the water coming in is clear, but um, you're either getting a bluish tinge where the water dries from copper pipes being corroded or a brownish reddish tinge from galvanized pipe. If however you see it on the water analysis, if you do a test, then you can prevent it from getting to that point with a unit like this. So typically what you'd want to do is for your specific water, you'd need to talk to our guys to find out exactly what um, pH you'd want to aim for, but you'd run water through the unit itself. And then most of the time that would get you to um, too high of a pH. So you'd bypass some water and uh, the, the thing that takes a little bit of time with these units is figuring out how much water needs to be going through the calcite and how much water needs to be bypassing the unit. Then to figure out at what point you need to set this unit, you would either, you'd, you need to use something fairly accurate to test the pH and preferably something like total hardness or total alkalinity in the water, which will give you a good indication. Um, we give basic test strips, which um, gives you a rough indication with the unit, and they're fairly affordable. Alternatively, you get tablet-based tests that are a lot more granular and a lot more accurate, or you get um, digital units that give you a very, very accurate reading, and plug this unit can actually store it on the phone to, um, to track what your pH has been set to and to make sure it's correct. The media itself in, tends to last quite a long time. It can, however, get dirty over time. And if you find that there's still media in the unit, but the effectiveness is starting to drop off, you can use the manual um, valve head here to backwash the media, which basically lifts up the media and pushes water through at a high flow rate to just clean it out like you would with a swimming pool and then set it back into filter for normal operation. Overall, this is a very good good system if you're looking to prevent corrosion and with the flow meters and valves it becomes a very easy system to control granularly.